Love you, honey. Love you. See you in a It's about 1.30. I just left out the back forest gate. And I've now hit the first trail on the first day of what is my first ever three-day solo camping, fishing, and hiking trip. Well, I guess I can't say I'm solo because I got Franny Girl with me. My ever present trail companion. Couldn't ask for a better trail dog. So she'll be keeping me company for the next three days while I'm out and about exploring Ernie Valley. Goose Valley and the surrounding Johnson Park and Black Ranch areas and I'll be camping overnight tonight at a spot along Bernie Creek locals adventurous locals and long timers I'm sure would recognize it but it's a pretty special spot so I'm not going to name it but I'll be staying there tonight and fishing along a mile long section of Bernie Creek up and down the creek at points where I can find access with my wheelchair and then tomorrow after some fishing and a good hot breakfast we'll break down camp and we will head through Bernie Valley over towards Goose Valley where we're ultimately going to camp at this glorious little meadow right on Goose Creek. Again, I'm not going to say exactly where because it's a pretty amazing little spot but locals who I've shown pictures to instantly recognized it knew where it was got a big smile on their face and said I was going to be having an amazing weekend and then the next day Sunday we'll hike on back home total miles about eight and a half give or take So today is my first day ever trying out my new steering peg grit overnight shipped it to me to make sure it would be here in time for this little trip and boy what a difference it's already making 
normally I would not be able to hold this line I would have slid off the right like or the left like this so as soon as I let go of the foot steering peg you see what happens instantly loses control so I'm gonna like this so I'll be getting used to that on this trip but boy I already like it a lot what a difference it makes in controllability steerability not something that's easy to do on these very uneven and rutted trails as I've said in other videos the GoPro just doesn't do it justice to show how gnarly these forest roads are and I've posted videos where I get going finally pick up a little speed on some of these hills and trails only to suddenly get launched off the road because of steering issues or one of the anti-tip bars catching on a rock or boulder jutting up out of the ground hey okay, here we are to the Great Shasta Rail Trail <sighs> much steeper grade than it looks not that easy to get up so Great Shasta Rail Trail heads as far as the eye can see back towards Bernie Mountain and the town of Bernie and then going this direction it heads out of Bernie 60 miles into the Siskiyou County town of McLeod I do like traveling on the rail trail to a certain degree because it's a little more even than the forest trails but the big trade-off is that it's cinder and that it's very soft and your wheels like to dig in if you've ever ridden a mountain bike or a BMX bike on cinder you know what I'm talking about you just can't get up to or maintain any reasonable speed but like I said the trade-off is it's much smoother much straighter and overall a lot easier so we're going to be following the rail trail for about the next mile or so and once we hit a certain trail I'll veer off towards Bernie Creek and then we'll be there not long after that this is all uphill here one very long and slow grind in this soft cinder So here is the southbound loop in to the Felch Road Bridge that crosses Bernie Creek where I went the other day with my grandsons for a two and a half mile day hike. So this is the southbound loop in. We already passed the northbound loop in. They both connect just before Black Ranch Road, where they cross Black Ranch Road, cross Bernie Creek, 
and then continue down Felch Road until they eventually reach our two big mills, Shasta Green and Sierra Pacific. The Felch Road Spur is one of several of the Great Shasta Rail Trail that total about 20 extra miles off the 60 mile main line. Ooh. Okay, about another quarter mile at least until we turn off the rail trail and head west towards Bernie Creek. She's got something pinned in there. A squirrel? What'd you get, Briny? Got a squirrel cornered in there? Come on, girl. Leave the squirrel alone. I think we're just about to our trail turn off. Where we're going to head left off the trail and west towards Bernie Creek. I've never gone this way, but I've seen it on Google Earth and Google Maps and terrain. Studied it pretty well, so I am pretty positive it goes through without too much of a hitch or problem. We'll see. Never know till I try. Nice little coast after that long slow grind ascending up the Great Shasta Rail Trail all uphill that entire section this is awesome what are we hitting 13 14 well, we're cruising at 14 miles an hour, 13, 12, starting to get a little rough again. Still, that was nice. No steering issues, because I've got the steering peg. What a difference that makes. And it looks like I can see Black Ranch Road up ahead, just as I figured. I do all my pre-scouting for these day trips and weekend adventures. I do all my pre-scouting on uh, Google Earth and maps and their terrain features and get elevations and distances and all that stuff. So I usually have a generally good idea if I can make it somewhere or not. Oh. 
damn, this is the road we want right here. You can hear the creek. Wow, that just sounds amazing. Is this the right way? I don't think this is the right way. Oh well. It'll still get us to the creek, but not where I wanted to go. So I'm going to have to turn around. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to follow it, see where it goes. We're already here, and I wanted to explore a good mile long up and down section of the creek anyways. We're at 2.4 kilometers so far today. Okay, this is definitely an area I've never been. Would you look at that? Wonder what we'll find at the end of this trail. Maybe a better camping spot than where I was planning. I know the creek's right here. Has some rough ground. Oof. Okay, so here we go. Here's Bernie Creek. Wow. Again, a section I've never been. Enjoy that water, Friny. I know you are thirsty. Not the greatest looking spot to access the creek by wheelchair. It looks like we've got this little tiny pond right here that's being somewhat dammed in by this downed log and all this brush. Ooh, the bugs are out. That's some good water, Friny. Is that better than my bottled water? Come on, let's see where this trail leads. I want to go find our camp. Well, I'm glad to have found this little section. I'm sure I would have found it at some point today or tomorrow because I was going to be using this trail that's ahead of us to uh, shadow the creek and look for alternate spots to fish from because wow the fishing is phenomenal where I like to go here again I'm not going to say what the locals call it but any locals will recognize it instantly when they see it but uh, it's kind of hard to find good spots to fish from in a wheelchair we'll see how this new freedom chair helps or if I end up ditching the chair and scooting on my butt to the spots I like like before well here's a cool little spot check that out this could be good what I would do is I would ride my wheelchair all the way out the channel to the creek if I can and of course that's part of the adventure to see if I can do it I'm not going to do it right now because I've got my 
big uh, adventure pack on and all my stuff and this thing is uh, a pretty heavy rig with all that stuff so I'm gonna have to uh, do that after I offload everything and set up camp but yeah I think I'm gonna try I might just take my shoe off and roll the wheelchair right out there up the channel and try and fish from there that might work yeah that sounds fun okay let's keep going starting to wonder if this is even going to be traversable by wheelchair but because just because there's a walking trail doesn't mean I can get through it in a wheelchair it might be easier just to go back out to Black Ranch Road and find the actual trail that would have taken me straight in to where I plan on camping. Oh Lord. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Thank God for anti-tip bars. That was the closest I've ever come to flipping over backwards. Wow. That was close. You know, I can't tell how steep this is. But between the little grade and all these boulders jutting up out of the ground and 30 or more pounds of gear on the back, I think you might have seen how I almost just went over backwards. And the only thing that stopped it from happening was the anti-tip bars. So now I'm really having to wonder should I keep trying to get through this way when I don't even know if there is a trail? Or just go back to the trail I know? And from what I can see, the trail completely peters out here. And I don't see any way through at all. There might be one around a corner, but after that near tilt or a flip over, I'm just going to safely go back the way I came. I don't want an accident on the first hour of the first day. That's for sure. Boy, this is rocky ground. Okay, there we go. Man, you know, this chair will pretty much go anywhere that a bicycle could go other than the width. Obviously, a bicycle's a lot narrower and can squeeze through little tiny paths whereas this is now it's a 18 inch wide seat plus the width of the tires and gears and all so probably 24 to 26 inches wide I would think okay back to the trail and then we'll follow this back to Black Ranch Road follow Black Ranch Road to what would have been the correct trail. I didn't think this one was right from the beginning. In fact, as soon as I saw it, I knew it wasn't, but I figured, you know, I was gonna explore this whole area today and tomorrow anyways, so might as well. So I'm gonna turn off for now and we'll pick up when I'm a little closer to where we'll be camping for the night. So here we are, it's about 2.30. We left about an hour ago. We've been shadowing Bernie Creek. That was a lot steeper and harder than it looked. I wasn't expecting it to be that hard. Oh Lord. Sit in the shade. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. I was going up a long, steady incline there for a while. And I knew that that little hump was coming up. I mean, I saw it. I knew it was going to be hard. But I didn't take into account that not only was it a hump 
that increased elevation dramatically momentarily it was on an already upgrade slope so it was quite a bit steeper right at the crest at the top than I imagined and boy I almost bonked and bottomed out there I'm tired uh, we're at 2.8 kilometers it's 2.30 we've been on the road for about 50 minutes been on the road for 50 minutes and uh, we've been skirting along Bernie Creek looking for good potential fishing spots and found one really interesting little spot where I think I could roll my wheelchair right up an inlet to the mouth of the creek. It's only like a 20-30 yard inlet that leads to the creek and it's very shallow so depending on what type of mud or silt is on the bottom I might be able to just kind of four-wheel drive my wheelchair right out there I've taken it across shallow creeks and into water so it does fine in that regards just depends on if it's not so soft that I can't get back out safely but in the event of something like that I've already prepared I've got about 40 yards of toe strap 50 yards of um, paracord a pulley and a come along so if it ever got stuck in the mud in the middle of a creek I would just or in the rocks or whatever dismount crawl on my butt with the strap and uh, whatever other recovery equipment I think I'll need tie up to a nearby tree or whatever and yank that sucker out just use brute strength half the stuff I do people are like how, how the hell do you manage to do that like push a wheelchair that the wheelchair itself is 58 pounds. I've got about 25 pounds, well, maybe 30 pounds of gear if you include the ice chest. So we'll call it 60 for the wheelchair, 30 for the gear, 90 pounds. So I'm pushing 90 pounds plus my own body weight of 285 all with my arms I couldn't do it couldn't even imagine doing it if it wasn't for this freedom chair and the lever system and the leverage you get from the bars that you propel forward okay I can see this is going to be a problem I am very close to at my extreme end of physical capability right now. I'm at just now hit three kilometers. And uh, I can tell you right now I won't be able to make that. So I'm going to start scooting along the edge and just roughing it through the grass until I can find a spot that I can ease up without killing myself or flipping over backwards we are very close to being there wow yeah that's steep might have to do what I did a couple days ago and dismount and pull it up by hand but for right now, there's not really a trail here, or a path, maybe a little bit of a game trail. So I'm just going to follow it, so I don't have to fight my way up that ridiculous slope. Viney, come here, honey. 
find you, girl. Come on. I don't want you on the road. So your way up. Easier said than done. See that tilt again. now I'm not fighting weeds and shrubbery and brush so now we're traveling on Black Ranch Road which I don't like doing I try and steer very clear of all roadways but if I have to be on it I at least try and be going into traffic so I can see and have time to respond to oncoming trucks big rigs families whatever thankfully this road is very very slightly traveled it's not in fact, most of Black Ranch Road is through the middle of nowhere. But you do have some houses and businesses on both ends. I want to say it's an 8, 10 mile stretch. Oh, I'm surprised to see something. Okay. I think we're coming up to the turnoff. I hope. Because I want to get off this road. Take a break. Okay, so this is the trail I took that I think was a mistake. Let's see how close I was to the right trail. This is going to suck when I see I went a mile and a half out of my way. When I got to that trail, I thought I was south of the location I wanted to camp on Bernie Creek I'm now thinking it was just slightly north but we'll see I still haven't come to the trail that I've been looking for but again for some reason everything just looks so different from a wheelchair seat compared to the seat of a four-wheel drive
I think I see the trail right here. I hope. But man, we went so far out of our way. What a doofus. That's the bad thing about not having a good cell phone. Because as soon as I saw that something looked wrong, I tried to get on the Google Maps, Google Earth, any internet at all. I just don't get any coverage up here. Oh, well, very, very spotty at best. And yes, this is the road we wanted. We were right there. We were right there. That's okay. Down to take wrong turns and go places you weren't expecting when you're off exploring. Right, Briny? We're almost there. I can see it. Again, I'm not going to uh, say exactly where we are. So it's not to ruin it for the locals. But anybody local up here who likes to get out and do any fishing will surely recognize this spot. Here we are at my quote unquote secret fishing hole on Bernie Creek. got some issues it's all flooded Franny you're sitting where I usually fish from holy cow well that was unexpected this is why when I came by the other day to do my pre-scout there was a big construction rig up here. He was obviously uh, trying to do some work on all this flooding. But this is where I was planning on uh, camping. Right back there in that little thicket. So we'll have to see. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Well, that was unexpected. It's okay. Roll the punches. Might have to find an alternate spot. Somehow notify the family. But let's just go over here and see. This is where I was going to go. You can see there's two spots. There's one over here, which you probably can't see, but I can see is completely flooded. And that was the spot I was kind of hoping for. And then there's a spot, I believe, up here, which might also work, but I, it might be flooded too. Yeah, I knew this whole section got really flooded this season, but I didn't think it would still be. So, not only do, wow, this really affects me more than I realized, because not only... is the area that I planned on camping flooded. This is where I was really planning on doing some great fishing. And clearly it's flooded out too, so we'll have to see. First things first, let's check on the K2 
campsite situation. I've never camped here, but I've seen the occasional person camping back here. Wow. Yeah, this is completely flooded. Okay, yeah, that changes everything. Back to the drawing board.